Hey, I'm Melanie from Female Fitness Systems, and today we're talking about midlife weight gain. Specifically, we're going to be talking about estrogen and its role in body composition and strength as you age. Now, before we get started, I wanted to remind you that this is not inevitable. There is so much that is within your control that you can do about it. And by being here today and watching this video, you are educating yourself on your changing body and taking the first step to gaining some control over what's going on. Before we get into estrogen's role in body fat and muscle mass, what I wanted to do is quickly remind you how estrogen changes as you age. I'm only going to very quickly go through this, so if you wanna get into it in more detail, I've written an in-depth blog post on my website, femalefitnesssystems.com. I'll leave a link to that article in the description of this video, and you can check it out after watching. But very quickly, as you know, estrogen declines as you get older. For most of us, this starts around our mid 40s when we are in perimenopause. Now perimenopause, which starts for many of us around our mid 40s, is a time when we start to notice hormonal changes the most. During this time, progesterone tends to be lower than estrogen, which can be quite erratic at this time of life. And when it's higher in comparison to progesterone, we get into a state of what's known as estrogen dominance, and that causes a lot of the symptoms we typically associate with perimenopause. Now, menopause is when we have officially gone 12 months without a menstrual period, and at this point, estrogen levels significantly decrease, and your ovaries produce much less estrogen and progesterone. Now this is when most women notice the biggest shift in their body composition, specifically an increase in fat mass and a decrease in muscle mass. Now that's not going to be new to many of you, but I wanted to remind you of the patterns that we go through as we're aging. Um, what I wanna do now is jump into estrogen's role in body fat distribution, and I'm going to talk about things like the distribution of body fat, how muscle mass changes as we age, and cellulite at the end because I think this is a really important part of body composition as we get older. Most of us know that estrogen plays a role in where we store fat. During our younger years, when estrogen levels are higher, fat tends to be stored more around our hips and our glutes, often referred to as a pear-shaped body type. And then as estrogen declines during perimenopause, the influence of testosterone increases. And testosterone can contribute to fat accumulation around the midsection, leading to a more apple-shaped body type. Now, there are many more things that can influence this storage of fat in your midsection, but the declining estrogen in relation to testosterone is definitely one of the main influences. The other thing that I wanted to cover today is that before menopause, there is a higher percentage of body fat stored as subcutaneous fat, which is fat that's under the skin and over the muscles. While after menopause, there's a shift towards a higher percentage of visceral fat. Visceral fat refers to the fat that accumulates around your internal organs, and this is the type of fat that is associated with more health risks as you get older. So that's just a few ways that estrogen influences how body fat is stored. What I wanted to do as well as talk about estrogen's role in muscle and strength as you get older. Now, estrogen influences muscle mass in a number of ways, and I'm only going to very quickly run you through them today, but to help you get an understanding for just how important it is, I'll quickly give you some of the main ways that estrogen can influence your muscle mass. One of the ways that estrogen helps with muscle mass is that it promotes protein synthesis. Protein synthesis is how we grow, repair, and maintain our muscles. And then it also can inhibit protein breakdown in your muscle tissue. By limiting protein breakdown, it helps to preserve your existing muscle mass. And then estrogen also interacts with growth factors like insulin-like growth factor, 
one or probably more commonly known as IGF-1. IGF-1 plays a really important role in muscle growth and repair. So by enhancing the effect of growth factors, estrogen can help you build more muscle. Estrogen has also been shown to have positive effects on mitochondrial function. Mitochondria are the energy producing structures within your cells and they're really important for your energy, for your health, for your overall appearance and your muscle performance. Estrogen has anti-inflammatory effects, and this is really important, obviously, for recovery after exercise and after injury. Estrogen is involved in collagen synthesis, which is crucial for the health of your connective tissues, like your tendons and your ligaments. And then this is well known, but worth mentioning, estrogen is also very important for your bone density. Less estrogen during perimenopause leads to bone loss, and when you lose bone, that can impact your muscle function as well. So that's just a very quick run through of the role that estrogen plays in helping you maintain your muscle mass. And I just wanted to give you an idea for just how important it is. The final thing I wanted to talk about today is cellulite because this is a big part of body composition, especially as we get older. Now cellulite happens at every age because there's a huge genetic component to it but cellulite is also an aging issue. And this is where women run into a lot of problems when trying to address cellulite because they mistakenly think it's a fat issue. And it is partly a fat issue, but it can't just be addressed through exercise alone because it's also an aging issue and it is related to your declining estrogen. So estrogen helps maintain the elasticity and firmness of connective tissues, including the collagen and elastin fibers in your skin. And it's really important that you understand this because as estrogen declines, changes in those connective tissues can contribute to the appearance of cellulite. It can make your cellulite look worse. And just like skin wrinkles, there's only so much we can do about it because cellulite is not just a fat issue, it's an aging issue. It's a change in those connective tissues. And that really is the main point that I wanted to make about cellulite today. I wanted to link it to declining estrogen levels so that you better understand it and so that you know what's actually going on if you are noticing more cellulite as you get older. Of course, cellulite is also linked to an increase in fat. So if you do gain weight when you go through that menopause transition, then cellulite will also look worse. It's also related to things like blood flow, lymphatic drainage, and blood vessel health, all of which can change as our estrogen declines. So it's a very complex problem, but today I wanted to make sure that you fully understood that it really is an aging issue and that it is related to declining estrogen. So that's just a quick run through of how estrogen influences your body composition and your muscle mass as you age. For many women, it means an increase in fat mass and a decrease in muscle mass, especially around that menopause transition. However, I wanted to sign this video off by reminding you that this is not inevitable. There are so many women who defy this pattern. For starters, one of the things you can do is pop over to my website, read my blog, have a look at my programs and get some help with all of this because a good training program is one of the absolutely most important things you can do to help prevent that decline in muscle mass. While you're there, check out all of the testimonials from fabulous women just like you of all ages who are defying this pattern and who are finding that they are stronger and looking even better than they did when they were 20 years younger. You're going to find so much inspiration over on my website, femalefitnesssystems.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.